Hi, and welcome to Happy Kitty Kitchen. I love bagels, but what I love even more are onion bagels. And today we're showing you how to make them at home. Sure, they don't look like restaurant quality, however, they taste like restaurant quality, so stay tuned if you want to make your own bagels at home. We'll start by putting in some butter on a pan and cooking our onions on a medium-low heat until they are golden brown. We don't want to burn any of them, so we're keeping the heat on medium-low the whole time while making sure to move them continuously, and this process took about 8-10 to 10 minutes. So be patient. Now that the onions are done, let's start with our bagel dough. Measure 500 grams of bread flour, which is equivalent of about 3 and 3 fourth cups of bread flour. Then, we'll add in half a teaspoon of onion powder and if you're feeling extra oniony, add in more to your liking. Then, we'll add in a teaspoon of salt. In a separate bowl, we are going to add in a tablespoon of active dried yeast and to activate it, we're adding in a tablespoon of sugar and top it off with one and a half cup of lukewarm water. Give it a mix so that everything dissolves, then leave it to activate for 15 minutes or just until it starts to froth up on top and create a layer of bubbles. Once your yeast mix is activated and frothy, add it to the flour mixture and mix it all up. Transfer the dough to a clean tabletop or a baking mat and start kneading for the dough to come together. This step will take a lot of patience and a lot of arm strength, but this is the key to getting a beautiful smooth and bouncy dough. Knead for at least 5 minutes, then add in those onions that we browned and fold them into the dough as you continue to knead. Whatever pieces fall out, roll the dough over it and it'll get back in there. Knead for 5 to 10 minutes until you get a smooth dough ball that bounces back when you poke it. Then cover and let it rest. Uncover after an hour or two, or just after it has doubled in size, and start to flatten it out by hand. You don't even need a roller here. Then proceed to cut it like a pizza pie and form those triangles into little dough balls that are almost equal in size. If you want to be very accurate, use a food measure to make sure they all weigh about the same, which is what we did, and I'm just going to speed through that step because it's going to bore you. Oil your mat or countertop and start forming the bagel rings. You can do that by poking the center with a chopstick, then swinging it around until the hole in the middle widens, then adjust with your fingers. Or you can pinch the center with your thumb and forefinger until they meet, creating an opening, then twirling the dough around and adjusting it with your fingers. We're sorry the shot of this wasn't clear, we were not aware that we were out of the frame for this process, we were busy having a who shaped it best competition. Once you're done, cover again and let them proof and rise once more. They look beautiful, right? Wrong. <laughs> as soon as we touched them, they deflated, which after much research, I figured out the reason this could be due to overproof dough, which means we let it rest for too long, which created too much carbon dioxide pockets within the dough and weakened the structure of the gluten, causing it to collapse. So in simpler terms, set a timer and make sure you don't let them rest for more than 5 or 10 minutes or start boiling them once they have slightly expanded. I also read that extreme temperature differences is what makes them wrinkle and surely transferring them from a cold room into a boiling pot did indeed cause our beautiful bagels to shrink once more. Advice number two is to switch off the AC in your kitchen and don't let the pot reach a boil. A good gentle simmer is good enough to get the job done. Once you drop your bagels into the water, let them simmer for 30 seconds on each side, then remove and set aside, brush them off with an egg wash, and sprinkle sesame seeds or an everything bagel seasoning on top, then pop them into the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 10 to 12 minutes or just until they are golden brown. Now, even though ours are wrinkly, they tasted superb and I made myself a yummy bagel sandwich with a slice of emmental cheese, deli mustard, smoked turkey and baby spinach leaves. And as you can see from the inside of the bagels, they were dense and had air pockets even after it deflated. So if this happens to you, don't be too quick to throw away your dough. Also, please check out the link I provided in the description box to know how to revive your dough if this ever happens to you. And as usual, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it and have a great day from Happy Kitty Kitchen. Bye!